Good afternoon, I'm Keenan Smith. Here are your headlines from 7 Action News. Detroit police officers are investigating a shooting and a car crash near Puritan and Myers on the city's west side. Chopper 7 was flying overhead at the scene. We're learning two people were inside the car when it crashed. Police tell us this is connected to a shooting, but we're still working to find out exactly what happened. We'll provide updates both on air and online at WXYZ.com when we learn more. Well, an 18 year old man has been charged with the murder of his girlfriend in Warren. Prosecutors say Kevin Dixon shot and killed 20 year old India Mackey at a home on Shirley Avenue between 10 Mile and Hayes Tuesday evening. Investigators say Mackey recorded Dixon making threats and loading a gun shortly before shots were fired. Dixon faces life in prison if convicted. Well, we're just one week away from Thanksgiving and a new float will roll down historic Woodward Avenue for America's Thanksgiving Parade. Rocket Mortgage by Quicken Loans revealed the float this morning at One Campus Marshes. It features the Joe Louis Fist, the Spirit of Detroit, the Q Line, the Michigan Labor Legacy Monument. The All City Drum Line uh, was there on hand to help build excitement for the new float this morning. That new float will make its debut at the parade this Thanksgiving. And we do have rain showers in the forecast for the afternoon, occasional into the evening before wrapping up around 8 or 9 o'clock. It is going to be quite windy too, so south to southwest winds gusting as high as 30, 35. It's going to be a late day high though that we'll see near 50 degrees, so definitely a warm up for today. 34 the low tonight, cloudy with rain ending, and then 41 degrees tomorrow. It does look dry tomorrow with sunshine for the afternoon, dry for the evening, and just a very slight chance that we could get clipped by a system over the weekend south of Detroit but most areas stay dry. It's going to be cool, though. Highs only in the 40s this weekend. All right. Thank you very much, Hallie. Remember, the tree lighting at Campus Marshes in downtown Detroit is tomorrow night. If you can't make it downtown, no worries. You can catch the tree lighting on 7, starting at 7. There'll be performances from Detroit's own Grammy-nominated artist, Mayor Hawthorne, the Detroit Youth Choir, figure skaters, Yuka Sato, and Mira Nagasu. They'll hit the ice there as well. And, of course, can't have a party without old St. Nick. He'll flip the switch on the holiday tree to make it all official. That's right in downtown Detroit. Well, those are your headlines from 7 Action News. Head to WXYZ.com and download the free 7 app for news anytime. I'm Keenan Smith. Have a great day.